1993, we saw the future as CNC's, and after doing some investigating on brands, we chose the Hawes. We bought a VF2 as our first machine. Seeing how what a game changer it was, we experimented with some other brands. That didn't prove out to work very well, so we followed back into Hawes, and that's the only platform that we have on the floor now. Hi, my name's Scott Bringle. I'm the owner-operator of Centerline Precision Technology in Edinburgh, Indiana. Started back in 1993, a Centerline mold, primarily building plastic injection molds. But then as time went on, uh, we felt the need to diversify, and we moved into production machining. We do quite a bit of work for orthopedic surgery delivery systems, for aerospace and uh, general job shop machining. Whatever will fit in the platform is what we put through. As time went on, utilizing the Haas technology and seeing possibilities of doing things better and faster, one day as a group in here, we were talking about five axis machining and we talked about it for several months and then decided to pull the trigger and buy our first UMC 750, more like a fishing lure because we didn't think we had the work, but it's proved that it's made a lot of work we already had so much easier and more efficient. And with having that five axis technology, it's brought a lot of new work to us. On the first UMC that we purchased, we're back there cutting a core for a plastic injection mold, whereas that used to take several operations and several different machines, but with the UMC 750, we can clamp it up and do five sides, cut ribs, do water lines, and when it gets done, it's finished. In the other UMC 750 we have, we're cutting a, a component to a fuel system for a rocket, and then in the one beside me, we're cutting parts for the delivery systems for orthopedic surgery. One morning I came into work and Hawes had a promotion and it was for a, a lathe ST20 live tooling and sub spindle. And we talked about it here in the shop and thought we should um, make an offer on that. And we did. And oh my goodness, the things that we've been able to bring into the shop that we used to have to sub out, it, it just improved that greatly. Plus the uh, aerospace work and making those parts for the uh, fuel systems, it's uh, just served us super well to have that capabilities. Eric, my primary operator back here, an organizer, he'll set up a machine before he goes home with uh, anywhere from eight to sometimes 16 parts. We've got one machine set up right now with 32 parts and he can hit the go button and go home and come in the next morning and feel confident that everything is cut and no problems have happened. Go into QC, parts are inspected and ready for the next stop and out the door. We've been utilizing Hall's equipment, a wide spectrum of platforms for 30 years, and we look forward to purchasing more in the future.